Hey guys, it's Rob. Welcome back to Earthbound. Uh, last we left off, we found out that Paul is missing, and we gotta go find her. And we got a tip that it might be in Happy Happy Village, uh, through the Peaceful Rest Valley. I already started to record this, I died to a plant. Um, and I forgot to get the item from Apple Kid, so I would have had to run all the way back. And that would have been a waste of time. Are you looking for that so-called genius Apple Kid? As a true genius, I'll tell you he's in Berglin Park looking for you. Okay. Makes me feel good to sit and look at my pots. I like pots, but what I really want is the tools shop for sale sign. It's right there. Should I steal it? Alright, so basically what the for sale sign is, it summons some person to randomly buy an item in your inventory. Where the fuck is Apple? Yeah, there he is. I'm feeling real out of it because I've been working all night. Finally, the pencil eraser is ready. This machine will eradicate all pencil-shaped figures in just one second. It's incredibly powerful. Just don't use it near a shop that sells pencils. Here, it's yours now. Thanks for cluttering my inventory with more bullshit. If I invent some other brilliant item, I'll call you. Okay. You have any items? You have garbage. I adjusted some audio settings, maybe it'll be better, maybe it won't be. I tried to make things a little bit more, uh, well, a little bit louder. I don't know if that's going to happen, or if it'll spike the mic, or what it's going to do, but, uh, we'll see. I felt like the volume is a little bit too low in general. I died to one of these, these little mobile sprouts. Got a critical hit and did 48 damage. Yeah, that's for before. That's the fucking critical that you did to me. Bastard. Don't steal my pee pee. So, some of the enemies coming up are pretty annoying, including a tree that explodes when you kill it. So, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I, good job, Butterfly, being all the way up there. Alright, we got the pencil eraser. Let's use the pencil eraser. For some weird reason, the iron pencil statue was erased. How convenient. Let's use this sandwich to get it out of my inventory. There's a butterfly. How much health do I have? Now nah, we'll just top it off. Hi, UFO. Beam that causes nighttime stuffiness. Good, now I have a cold, which is basically like a form of poison. I leveled up. 
Alright, that wasn't a terrible level up. Um, I guess epilepsy warning? Um, the screen is gonna flash red periodically, so if you have visual epilepsy, just be warned. Oh my god, these things are kicking my ass. You know what, have some magic. Cause I'm gonna fucking die. Some good XP though. I'll probably die and have to grind a little bit. Let's use the cold remedy. Actually, can my God damn it, I didn't mean to use it. Didn't mean to waste the PS uh, the uh PP. Meant to check things. Okay, it co cures cold. So I just basically uh Got a new inventory slot doing that. Alright, I want the present up there. But there's some armor up here, I think. I don't know if it's a specific uh, present, but there is like an armor upgrade. Spinning Robo. Looks like a fucking butt plug, but okay. Like a strange fucking butt plug. Oh my god, ow. Good. Just missed, Ness. Well, that hurt. Travel charm. Yeah, there we go. I don't remember what it does. Let's find out. It didn't do anything for my defense. Protects you from paralysis. I don't think anything here does paralysis. dodging. So this part of the game is harder because you're just using Ness. And enemies do a pretty good amount of damage. Increases my max luck. I don't remember what luck does. I think it might affect critical hits. Um, oh god, there's the tree. Run away! Okay, good. God damn it. Which way do I have to go? Mm -hmm. 
Couldn't I have gone in that crit on the first hit? That would have been nice. Before I took like the 50 damage. I'm lost. I think this is the right way. Give me the butterfly. What is the HP situation? Let's heal. Butterfly, come here. Thank you. I want the present. A bomb. Straight up bomb inside. Fucking tree. There's that fucking tree. So you can despawn enemies if you go off the screen. I don't want to fight the tree. I don't want to fight the tree. Oh, look, the tree's still there. And now there's another enemy. Well, let's fight the tree. Oh, no. The tree didn't join the attack. Good. Go away, tree. that. Is it better than Mr. Baseball Cap? It is much better. Oh god, the tree is there! Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Fuck! 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 Okay. Good. I think that spiked the mic a little bit. Sorry. Oh, there's where I have to go. And there's a UFO. And a thing, and a butt plug. Alright, I don't want to deal with these guys. They're gonna do too much damage. God damn it. Really? The guys are still alive? Oh, that hard hat helps a lot. I went from, like, taking 16 damage to, like, 7. That's great. Nice. Okay, level up. I wish my health went up more, but... Butterfly? Come here. Come here, butterfly. Gotcha. And those fucking enemies are back. Well, I can cast side gaming again. Gotcha. 
That's the hit that I needed before. It's a fucking tree. Two fucking trees. No, fuck it. There's a chest there. I don't fucking want it. Run, snakes! This is Happy Happy Valley. One day, Mr. Carpenter received a revelation. He now speaks the real truth. Hello, lady. Oh! Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. Donate whatever you can. No. I'll be your shadow then. Okay. Um. Excuse me, sir. You look very suspicious. The insane cultist. Not even gonna say it. That man looks very suspicious. Alright, take your fucking donation so you leave me alone. You have a dollar. Here's a postcard. Yeah, I don't want your postcard. Why are you following me? I gave you money. Fuck off. Oh, God. Blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Give up what you're doing and go meet the grand... Great, Mr. Carpenter, as soon as possible. No, thanks. I have too much shit. What does the bomb do? How much damage is an enemy? It may affect others. No thanks, I don't want an item that could kill me. I need a heal- a, uh, save point. Hello, blue cow. We're all like one big happy family here in Happy Happy Village. Basically, our policy is to only allow family members to stay here in the village. However, if you are interested in learning about Happy Happyism, we may make an exception and let you stay for 50 bucks. Now, fuck you. I need to heal. Very well, be sure to do your blue blue chant before bedtime. Ness, I, Paula, I am Paula. Can you hear me calling you? Help! Come and help me. Um, I don't know where I am. I can hear water running in the distance. Ness, please help me. Well, lucky for you, I know where you are. I also wish there was a fucking phone here so I could save the game. Meager living farm. Lodgings available. Right, where's the phone? When I painted everything blue, as Mr. Carpenter said, my wife, who had run out on me, returned home. How convenient. Are you a phone? Hospital, do you have a phone? No. I need a phone. I need to not get attacked by a KKK member. Well, now I'm on a, a fucking watch list. Actually, I'm probably already on a watch list, and never mind, who cares? Can I have gotten that critical hit for uh, the first turn? Nice XP, though. I really would like a uh, save point.
Where is your phone? Oh fuck, not you again. No, I already donated. Fuck you, and I don't want your shit postcard. Alright, I don't really want to do it, but I'm going to save state because I do not want to do all that shit again if I die because I can't find the phone. I'm not sure, boing! Friends in valley behind three! Ding ding! Huh, strange. There's gotta be a phone around here. I'm monitoring those who don't pay at the food stand. Well, I would not pay, but... Is there a phone in here? Ah, here's your phone. Do you guys have any upgrades? Yes, you do. Alright, the Holmes hat is not as good as uh, the hard hat, I don't think. can't carry anymore. Son of a bitch. Alright, what can we sell? Uh, Mr. Baseball Cat. Yes, I'm gonna equip it. Yes, you can have my own bat. I need a copper bracelet. I want to save the cheap bracelet for Paula, but at the same time, my inventory is full and I need to get a key item soon. So. Uh, I'll hang on to it. Yeah, I, when I come back, I have to get Paula some stuff. Now we can continue. Hello, butterfly. Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. I know it's hard to believe, therefore I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. You can't open the door, you have to get the key from Car Painter, who's got it hidden away. I heard he can control lightning, in that case you should wear this Franklin badge. What, do you want to get fired by lightning? Get rid of something, god damn it. Until you return. Come back and get me once you beat Carpenter. Don't worry about me. Just kick butt like I know you can. Oh god. Hey! It's Pokey! 
Hey, Dust, you're just here to bother me, aren't you? You can call me Master Pokey, since Mr. Carpenter made me an important person in Happy Happyism. You should join us, but I know you won't. Glad I joined. I'm not gonna fight you, but these guys will. Later, Potato. God damn it. What? Stop summoning your friends. Nice XP though. Alright, level up, not good. Hey Pokey, you fuck. Save the game again. Okay, let's go kick Carpenter's ass. Blue, blue. I wish for everything in the world to become blue. guys give good XP, so... Is, can I get them a small? Let's talk to the cow. I'm just a plain old cow, but Mr. Carpenter's messages always move me. Fuck you. Alright, you crazy blue people. I need you to start spawning. I only need to kill like two or three more of you guys to level up. One. 
There we go. This should do it. Blue, blue, what? I'm blocking you? Okay, I will move out of your way. Thanks. From here. From here. Blue, blue, I say. Arm the torpedoes, full speed ahead or something like that. So now I'll crush you. Oh, okay. You're gonna crush me, huh? Don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. Blue, blue. I'll stand somewhere else. Blue, blue. Lagoon, blue, blue. Blue, blue. Don't disrupt our meeting. I'll stomp on you. saying I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true, see? Green, green. Oops, that's not it. I'm still new with this. Skip sandwich. Fuck that. Blue, blue. Hey, you anti-blue boy. You're getting on my nerves. trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. I'll practice over there. Blue, blue, you strange unmasked fellow. Don't go to heaven! He just told me to go to hell. Bastard. It's 
right, the game told me to go to hell. How much HP do I have? About 30 missing. Blue, blue, this should wake you up. Ah! Okay. I'll eat a burger before I fight the boss, since he'll give me another key item. And I'll need the inventory space. Blue, blue, your outfit. The color is wicked, thanks. Blue, blue, you can't be happy unless you know happy happy is. I screamed, because I didn't know what else to do. Okay. What is this? Thanks for coming. I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help to make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Will you be my right-hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me, and I'll end your pitiful game. Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. So I believe you actually need that item or you just die. Now let's try some gaming. Crash and boom bang attack, but the Franklin badge deflects it. Uh, can I use flash on you? You know what, I don't need to. Uh, do I need a shield? No, I'll just smash the crap out of him. Thanks for healing yourself. I'll do one more. I don't want to use all my- OW! Get fucked. Offense up two, guts one, vitality one, IQ one. Alright, that wasn't a bad level up. Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I've been doing peculiar things. Please forgive me, if you can. I just wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail in the mountain cabin where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. Okay. Now let's go get Paula. So you're the boy that, that you went after Mr. Carpenter and you're awesome. Thanks. It looks like almost everyone woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'll get out of here. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. No. It's Pokey. What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Let's, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Uh, okay. Ha, I lied. See ya, sucker. Pokey. Son of a bitch. Let's save our game. Ness, it's your dad. My dad is a phone. Ness, you got the key. Are you hurt? Yeah. Sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Ness used the key to the cabin. 
Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. I'm able to use a little psychic power that's actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. sucks dick. And I have nothing for her because I got rid of the thing in my inventory. But, I can start unloading some of the stuff in my inventory to her. Uh-oh. It just taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius, if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera, say Fuzzy Pickles! Oh, what a great photograph. It will always bring back the fondest of memories. Okay, bye. Why am I actually fighting this guy? Stole my fucking croissant, you motherfucker! That was a good healing item. Piece of shit. Good. You steal my croissant and give me a shit ass cookie. Now the town is miraculously not blue. Okay, sir. I need to buy your your best shit. Bracelet for Paula. <clears throat> and the ribbon is better for Paula. We'll get Paula back to, uh, Tucson, and then we'll call it an episode. So now I have to go through that fucking valley again, with all the dangerous enemies that were dangerous to nest that are still probably dangerous to- oh, OH! THE FUCKING TREE! Oh, Jesus. Territorial oak, fuck you. Oh my god, ow. You did it, Paula. Alright, Paula, freeze this motherfucker. We gotta kill it fast. <clears throat> One HP for a level up, good. Yeah, some shit level ups. But I killed the tree.
I should actually probably go heal first. Let's actually go do that. I think it was a place with the cow. Yep. And the cow's not blue anymore. Greetings, Ness. Please... Greetings, Ness. Please forgive my lecture earlier. You are now welcome to stay free of charge. Thank you. Please make yourself comfortable on your blue sheets. No, no, I'm just kidding. Alright, let's save again. that I can get rid of. Uh, the pencil eraser, I never seem to know when I need it. No, hang on to what I have. Oh, it's the tree again. <clears throat> yes, stop missing. Fight the tree. Fuck. God! Uh, Ness, kill! Paula! Oh wait, no, that's bad. The tree has to die last. No, oh, fuck! Please don't kill the tree. Please don't kill the tree. Don't kill the tree. Don't kill the tree. Okay, thank God. If the tree blows up, I'm dead. Now I want to kill the tree. 
And Paul is almost dead. And there's another tree in front of me. Excellent. Alright, so now the bridge is fixed. That wasn't the bridge. Also, there's another tree. Oh, baby, offense went up by three. And Paul is almost dead again. Oops, I won't say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm just trying to help. Alright, well, thank you. Back in Tucson. And we're back. Yahoo! I knew it. You saved Paula. I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Paula, if you must take a trip, bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I'll call it a hand-aid. Did you meet Dad? He's so sorry he suspected Mr. Everdred. Oh, Paula. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will take care of ourselves. In three, the next town will meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. <laughs> Goodbye, Paula. I won't cry anymore. Hello, Ness. Everdred's looking for you. He's got something for you. And that's where we're gonna end it, everybody. I wanna thank you for watching. Until next time, Rob out.